This video covers a project that I did in one evening a couple of months ago. It is called Typefuck. What is Typefuck? Typefuck is an extension of Brainfuck. What is Brainfuck? Brainfuck is an esoteric programming language that moves a pointer around in memory, increments and decrements the dereferenced pointer, and is very simple looping, input and output. Since it supports input and output, each byte of memory represents a character. Typefuck extends this notion by introducing a fuckly typed system. In addition to the eight instructions of classic Brainfuck, we introduce seven new instructions. The first five of these instructions are the key additions to making this type system work. By choosing one of these five instructions, we change the type to which the memory refers. In this example, the first instruction, C, says that we are using character mode. The next instruction, comma, takes an input, say the character 3, and places it at that address. I then switches typefuck to integer mode, and the period will output a 51. But maybe you'll get 838,860,800. This is where the magic of typefuck happens. Underlying this type system is a union, which is a data type that squeezes all the component types into the minimal memory needed. Now in my C++ implementation, all of this fits into a 4-byte little endian word, which means that the lowest bits are stored first in memory. But, since a character fits into 1 byte, on a big ending system, it would spit out the much larger number. Oh yeah, baby, this language depends on your system architecture. If we repeat this program with a float output, my machine spits out 7.1 times 10 to the negative 44. One might ask how that happens. In short, floats are stored in memory in three parts. A sign bit to say if the number is positive or negative, an exponent to say what power of 2 is stored, and a mantissa to give you those significant figures that only your really pedantic math or science teacher cared about. You know the one. If you want to be pedantic, make sure to comment on this video about how wrong I am, and like and subscribe regardless of your pedanticism. Anyway, the biggest departure from Brainfuck is that in Boolean mode, the plus and minus operators set the variables to not zero and zero respectively, which might be a nice way to set part of the memory to all ones or all zeros quickly. The default type used in Typefuck is characters, so if you never use any of these instructions, you will have a mostly valid Brainfuck program. Mostly, you say? That's right, we have two more instructions to introduce. Since we introduced character-based instructions before, now commenting the code could have side effects in normal Brainfuck. Stealing from Python, and Octothorpe will end the line of code right there. Yes, Octothorpe is the pedantic term for the tagging symbol. No, I am not about pedanticity. The second is a D instruction, which I implemented to toggle a debug flag to output all of the data at the end of each line. This was a happy little accident that I used to make sure my implementation worked, and figured to include it. The interpreter I wrote for this can be found in the description of this video. Now I am sure that others will come along and find better ways to build out such a fuckly type system, and the concrete on this idea is far from dry, so I would be happy to see any improvements to the idea, especially if it increases misery even further for the user. Thank you for watching.